we're going to talk about different ways that we can work with data files, namely ways that we can organize our data, clean up some data, and also back up the data in case we ever need to save or recover a save. If, as we know, technology tends to glitch out, sometimes we need to get those files back. So we'll talk about those different ways that we can manipulate the data, use the data uh, to our liking. One, to save space, sometimes to you know, save items, and how we can recover it as well. For the start, we're actually gonna talk about how we can clean up data. So let's jump right into it. So first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm here on my homepage. We're gonna navigate on up to our best friend, the ribbon on top here. Head on over to the left-hand side, click on File. And then we can actually, normally we can click on Options, but we can actually work with some of our mailbox settings right from this page here. And really what I wanna focus on here is mailbox settings here. See that we can manage the size of our mailbox by emptying deleted items and archiving. You may have a different level of gigabyte of space available to you that's gonna change based on uh, what level of Microsoft you're using, whether it's 365 or some of the home office suites and also some organizational rules as well. But what we wanna do is pay attention to the left-hand side here to tools. And if we click on that, we have two options for cleaning up data in our mailbox. We can always empty the deleted items folder. Of course, we can always do that straight from the deleted items folder itself, but if for whatever reason you prefer this way, you can choose to permanently delete any of those items in the deleted items folder. I'd highly recommend taking a quick look at that folder and just making sure that everything you have there is things that you no longer need because once you do this, it is gonna be permanently deleted and you lose access to any of that information. But if that's not really what we're looking for, we can also choose to open up the mailbox cleanup option. And when we do that, you can see here that we can use this tool to manage the size of our inbox. And if we ever need a refresher, we can always choose to get an in-depth look at our folder size. We can see what folders are specifically using up the most amount of memory. So you can see we have a lot here in the inbox and a lot of memory here being taken up, a lot of space being taken up from the deleted items folder. So this is a situation where if I'm really tight on space, I might wanna go ahead and use that permanently delete option. So for now, I'm gonna close out. And you can see here, we can search for items that are older than 90 days or items that are larger than uh, 250 kilobytes. Uh, and then we just click on find and it'll actually perform a search here and find any of those files that are either over 250 kilobytes or over 90 days old. I'm gonna navigate back into your mailbox cleanup. You can see here, uh, again, we also have the option to permanently empty out those deleted items um, that are in the deleted items folder. And we can delete any alternate versions of items in our mailbox. So if we have different things that conflict, maybe different files that conflict, we can choose to delete those there. So one, we may want to just find first just to see how many, you know, for example, if I don't need anything that's older than 90 days, well, I can have Outlook find that for me first before I empty it out or move it to delete. And then I also have two options here to just empty out the folder or delete any alternate versions. And again, especially in situations where we're getting really, really tight on space, it could be really, really helpful to know what, where to clean up those files. But also even before then, um, you know, if we're building up a large amount of memory and file in our Outlook, you may notice that over time it may slow down your performance a little bit. So every once in a while, it's a good idea to clean up your mailbox a bit just to keep that performance being extra crisp and as fast as possible. So that's one helpful tool to know with working with data is how to clean up your mailbox in Outlook, Outlook 365.